Hello everyone, it's Carly from Bell's Books and welcome to my channel. Excuse my appearance today, I've been out in the garden potting on all my tomato plants. Do you want some? Because I've got loads. That was a rookie mistake. Anyway, today I'm here to do a May book haul for you. First I'm going to talk about the books I bought myself. First up I bought The Girl Aquarium by Jen Campbell. This is a poetry collection. Um, it's Jen's first full-length poetry collection. These poems I find really accessible. Jen has done a reading of a few of her poems and it's on the Women's Prize website so I'm going to link that down below so you can go and have a listen and if you like them um, then you can pick it up. The poems riff on themes of girlhood, circus, freak show, bodily difference and a lot of them are written in a northern dialect because Jen is from the northeast of England so some of her poems are written in that dialect. I really like this collection, I'll do a review of it when I talk about um, the books I read in my wrap up so I won't say any more there but have a look at the link below in the description box if you want to check out some of her poems. Next I picked up Circe by Madeline Miller. This is for my book group. So this is a retelling of the character Circe, which is mentioned in the Odyssey, I think. Um, I didn't know that much about Circe or all the Greek myths, so I'm approaching this with fresh eyes and not much knowledge of Greek mythology. Um, Again, I'll talk about it in my wrap up, but it's giving her a bit more of a story. So rather than just um, in the Odyssey, she gets a couple of um, mentions, I think, as a witch and she submits to um, Odysseus when after she turns all of his men to pigs. I think that's the thing that most people know about her. So it gives her a story, it's like a reclamation and um, I'm really enjoying it so far about halfway through but yes I will talk about it more in my wrap up. Next I picked up The Love Song of Miss Queenie Hennessy um, by Rachel Joyce. So this is not a sequel or a prequel, it's a companion novel to um, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. If you've read that you can read, you, you can read them in either order. Um, so this says when Queenie Hennessy discovers Harold Fry is walking the length of England to save her and that all she must do is wait, she is shocked. Her note to him had explained she was dying. How can she wait? She must write again, someone says, but this time she must tell Harold everything. In confessing to secrets hidden for 20 years, she will find atonement from the past. Um, Jen and a couple of other people have mentioned this on Booktube, so um, I saw it for sale in a second-hand book shop, and I was like, I'm going to have that, because it was only 30p, what a bargain. Yeah, have you read The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry? If you have... Um, talk to me in the comments below and also are you going to pick up this? Next another charity shop find I picked up this Fingers in the Sparkle Jar by Chris Packham it's his autobiography which I've been meaning to get for a while again absolute bargain 50p so yeah I think it's just about his life and how he came to fall in love with nature because I was I love Chris Pack and watch him on spring watch autumn watch and all that and so yeah it's about how he came to be interested in nature and his love for the environment so I'm looking forward to reading that one next are a couple of books that I got sent by the publishers so I got Becoming Belle by Nuala O'Connor and um, this was sent from Little Brown Books this sounds lots of fun, so I'll read you the blurb. In 1887, Isabel Bilton, eldest of three daughters, escapes her bourgeois family from the murky stages of Victorian London. Armed with only her talent, charm and determination, she takes the city by storm. Soon, Isabel has become Belle, the star of dancing double act, reigning over the Empire Theatre and the Corinthian Club, where only the most select society entertain. It is here she falls passionately in love, learns the depth of her ambition and scandalises society. Sounds amazing. I love anything set in uh, Victorian London. Um, and it's got my name on it. Belle is my other name, my stage name. So I thought, hmm, I like that. I like the look of that. Sounds lots of fun. So I will give a review of that when I do my next wrap up. Next, I got sent 
The Heavens by Sandra Newman from Granta. I'm very excited about this. I saw Simon mention this on his channel, Savage Reads. Um, this is a narrative which is split between two time periods. So the first one is about Kate and Ben, who are a couple in the year 2000. It's the new millennium, everything's rosy. United Nations just planted a flag on Mars. The Green Party senator is about to become the first female president of the United States. Kate falls asleep knowing that she is loved. Ba -ba -ba! Next, she wakes up. It's London in 1593. She has turned into someone called Amelia, who is the mistress of a nobleman, and finds the plague at her door. Afflicted by premonitions of a burnt and lifeless city, she sets out to save the world. Each decision she makes will change her life with Ben forever. This sounds amazing. And it's got a beautiful cover. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Not a big book either. Uh, 250 pages. So I will talk about this in my wrap up. And that is it for my book haul. Only a little one this month. Let me know in the comments down below if you're reading any of these, if you plan to read any of these, what you're currently reading. And yeah, talk to me. I want to know stuff. So I will do a currently reading video and then a wrap up when I have finished some books. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.